Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. That's the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. Guys, I have some tea from New York. And it's interesting tea. So let's get into it. Um, okay, now, before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell right here. And let's talk about this mess. So I was like, you know, relaxing, watching videos, um, watching my fellow bloggers, you know, because that's what we do. And I came across a live of Miss Charelle from Charelle's World. And she was talking all this tea about Bershon. And I was like, girl, I mean, honestly, if this is true, like... I mean, it is bad, but at this point, does it surprise me? No. You know what I mean? So this is all about Bershawn Shaw because apparently, allegedly, she is the fakest person that you will ever see. Apparently, she has been put all this facade around her to portray being someone that she is not. Apparently, she is a no one. Her storyline is fake. She doesn't have any money. I mean, they're going hard on her. Uh, they're saying that she doesn't have any money at all. Okay. Uh, that she, uh, she said that she, she said that she created like an app for, um, for something. I don't remember. And apparently she's living from that, but that's not a lot of money. Uh, they, they're saying that she's being evicted from her house. Um, I mean, it is a lot. Not only that, apparently, according to the rumors, um, Bershon has been working on getting into housewife for a while. Okay. And before the season even aired, she was out there crashing parties from other housewives from the east coast so allegedly she has been going to she she will try to go around make calls you know be like this scam artist or something you know and go into like all these houses unannounced and just be there apparently she went to a margaret joseph book party she went to um karen's hugo birthday party and she she asked for the numbers from the whole Real Housewives of Potomac cast. Uh, no one wanted to talk to her except for Ashley. Uh, I mean, this is intense, okay? I mean, if this is true... Now, I don't know if this is 100% true. I mean, I'm feeling like... If we, if we watch Roni, we know that... Um, there is so tensions happening between Bershon and some of the cast members. So it would not be hard for some of these cast members to try to put these stories out there, you know, to try to discredit uh, Bershon. Now, if this is true, a girl has problems, honestly. Uh, they're saying that she also suffers from mental issues. So maybe she actually believes that she is this millionaire. You know, I don't know. Uh, apparently, she also did. Um, she did like a premiere party for the episode that she appeared, and she invited like a bunch of Bravo celebrities and a bunch of people, and like none of them came, like the Bravo celebrities, except for Ashley Darby. Um, now they're also saying that Ramona, I mean, you know, that she was, um, introduced to us as a friend of Ramona. 
Well, apparently that's another fake storyline. You know, just like Falling and, and Portia on Atlanta, you know. Uh, like, oh yeah, they're friends, but they're actually not friends. And they met each other, apparently, like a week before. Like, they hung each other just once, like a week before, right? Um, and then Ramona went to D.C. and overheard some people talking. And apparently, Ramona find out about this whole situation that is surrounding Bershon. And she was not happy about it, you know, and now she's trying to take her down. <sighs> I mean, look, I don't feel that Vershawn is that important yet. Or is she, like, important enough to hate? You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> she has been in, like, two episodes. Now, we don't know what is going to happen the rest of the season. Um, but... According to this, Vershawn is really, really fighting her way to get her apple. Now, this may, might make some sense because remember that I told you, like, when the first African-American person to join the show was announced or, or that someone, some, like, any African-American woman was about to join Roni, back then, actually, the first one that was announced was Vershawn. Okay, and the second, and then it came Ebony out of nowhere, you know. So apparently, when that happened, she went out there to try to put her name on top of any list, you know, by befriending a bunch of Bravo celebrities, you know, and talking to as many people from from Bravo that she could. But she didn't know anyone. She didn't have a connection with anyone. And she didn't even have an interesting storyline to put out there. Allegedly. You know? So, I mean, again, I don't... Do I believe that this is 100% truth? I don't know. Mm. There is a lot of tension happening right now in, in Roni. So, I wouldn't be surprised if this is just another fake storyline put out there by any of the other ladies who are not having a good, who are not, you know, mashing well with Bershan. But if this is true, I mean, a bitch is crazy, honestly, at this point. Uh, and, and then she will have to go, okay? Because we, I mean, why, how, who is working at Bravo or at the production company or whatever that is letting these girls get into the show without knowing that that she have no money is about to get evicted uh, is crashing parties on, on all this shady bitch, sh shady uh, shit how who is working at Bravo honestly who is working with the production company anyways uh if you watch my last video about what Bravo is about to do with production companies and casting uh, agencies, this is why, okay? This is why, because if this is true, why is this happening? Why are these people not doing their job? Honestly, I mean, those production companies, they need to hire me because I will find the truth about these bitches, okay? Before they go on TV and then create all this mess. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you enjoying Rashawn? Do you think that this is true? Do you think that this is fake? Let me know, guys. And like always, don't forget to like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.